Let's talk Tanya for the 21st of Tevis. Yesterday we concluded our discussion about the Benini, and in general, our, our discussion about the three possible outcomes in the battle between the animal soul and the godly soul. Which outcome should we be aspiring to, um, for? And the answer to that, as Dr. Rebbe begins today's Tanya, he begins with the words, V'hine midas ha-benini, he midas kol adam v'achareha kol adam yimshaych. The benini, that is something which is for everyone. Everyone should be aspiring to be a benini. And why is that? Because to be a benini requires one thing. It requires moyach shalt alalev, that the mind should be in control over the heart. And that is something which is within the capability of every single person to control ourselves, that our thoughts, speech, and action should be the way they're supposed to be. That's something which is a minimum expectation of everyone. And we can all do that. When it comes to doing something wrong, we say to ourselves, sorry, I'm not doing that. I'm a Jew. God told me not to do that. Period. End of story. I'm not doing it. Now, a tzaddik, on the other hand, it's not about thought, speech, and action. To be a tzaddik goes much deeper than that. To be a tzaddik means you really, you're changing your insights, you're changing your emotions, you're changing your feelings about things. And that's something which not everyone can accomplish. And in fact, Dr. Rebbe tells us that the people who can accomplish that, the people who can become tzaddikim, it's not because they worked harder necessarily, it's because they have a special gift, they have a special soul. A soul that they are born with, which has the potential to become a tzaddik. Now, the tzaddik also works very hard to get to where he or she is to become a tzaddik, but at the same time, the rest of the re the rest of us, we can work all we want, and we never will become a tzaddik. And this is a very important idea to understand because we need to understand what success looks like. They say that frustration is a result of unmet expectations. So therefore, it follows that if you have unrealistic expectations, you're just setting yourself up for frustration. So if your expectation is that you're going to be a tzaddik, what does that mean? If your expectation is that you're going to perfect yourself on the inside and you're not going to have any character flaws and you're not going to have any unhealthy desires and you're just going to be filled with um, holy emotions, chances are, unless you happen to have that special soul of a tzaddik, is that you're setting yourself up for failure. So we need to understand, what does success look like? Success is when I am fully in control of my thoughts, speech, and actions in general, and sp success in any specific area, what does it mean to be successful in a specific area of the battle of the animal soul and the godly soul, is that in that area, I am successful in thought, speech, and action. That is something which is expected, that is a minimum expectation of every single one of us, to be the Bainini. In tomorrow's Tanya, the Alter Rebbe will somewhat backtrack on what we are learning about today.